Hey guys, we're live from the Astroc booth and um, we've just seen some amazing, amazing, amazing motherboards for Ryzen uh, and uh, Threadripper. So we're going to start off with Threadripper. Uh, we're going to start off with the X399 Professional Gaming. Um, this board is packed to the gills with features, guys. I mean, I haven't seen a board that's this well specced for Ryzen yet. Uh, what, I, what I specifically want to draw your attention to, apart from all the other features that this board has, is the fact that it's got inbuilt 10G uh, Ethernet, so 10 gigabit Ethernet right there, and also dual Intel 1 gigabit Ethernet ports right there. It's got obviously dual channel Wi-Fi, it's got PS2, it's got six USB, it's got six USB 3s, it's got uh, four USB 3.1s, out of which one is Type-C. Um, yeah, just completely loaded to the gills. Um, apart from all of that, we also have Two, well, we have three Ultra M.2 slots, so you can put three M.2 drives, one here, one here, and one here. Um, so up to 10,000 MB a second read-write from your uh, NVMe drives. We've got quad-channel memory support. We've got eight. Uh, we've got eight SATA ports. Down here, you can see a six-pin power connector for additional power when you've got multiple GPUs and power-hungry devices plugged in. And it's great to see that it's been also, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's basically a right angle connector. So that's really nice to see. Helps with uh, system cable management. They have one eight pin power connector up here and one four pin power connector up there. So obviously these CPUs need a lot of power. And the socket again, uh, like I said, even at, the, even at the Asus booth, this socket is massive. And um, the way you want to open this socket is actually, it's written on the socket, open in three to one. Three being this this bolt, then you want to open that, and then you want to open that. And um, trust me, guys, when I say this, you want to get yourself a nice torque wrench that can, you know, tighten it down with the with equal pressure. You don't want uneven mounts on a socket this big; it's going to cause issues. Um, but all in all, this is a magnificent board. It's supremely well equipped. It's got tons of SATA, tons of expansion. Gigab 10 gigabit Ethernet, I can't say this enough. Every single system these days should come with 10 gigabit Ethernet. The days of gigabit Ethernet are, are gone. I mean, considering all of us today have SSDs in our systems that can operate well over 500 MB a second, or in case you've got NVMe, then that's over 3000 MB a second. That's 3 GB a second. So a gigabit is absolutely needed today as far as I'm concerned, you know. You want this because the transfer rates are, are truly, truly spectacular. So that's, that's, that's the X399 Professional Gaming from ASRock. Next, what we have is the X399 Tai Chi. Um, it's, it's a slightly more uh, lightened version of the 399 Professional Gaming, but it still is loaded to the gills. Again, we still have the same three M.2 slots. We still have four PCIe X16 slots, all wired for X16, just like the Professional Gaming. Um, the only thing is we've got Dual gigabit Ethernet, no 10 gigabit. But then again, um, that's what this board is for. And um, yeah, still we have eight SATA ports. We still have the right angle power connector. Uh, your start reset buttons are down here. You've got your debug LED. You've got quad channel memory support. Again, the layout of the power plugs is identical. It's eight, it, there's an eight pin right here. There's a four pin right there. Um, 24 pin, you've got multiple USB 3 headers, one of them is right angle, pointing downwards. And yeah, just completely, completely loaded to the gills with this board. A dual, dual channel Wi-Fi AC, just like the X399 Professional Gaming. And um, yeah, there's, there's not much else I can say about this board, except it's spectacular. Um, moving on, what I'm truly, truly excited about here is actually the X370 Gaming ITX system. Um, tons of power in a tiny <laughs> compact, in a tiny compact little form factor. So you've got Nichicon audio, Nichicon capacitors, um, X16 slot, dual channel memory. You've got, you know, you've got a six phase power supply, single eight pin and um, yeah, four SATA ports. So you can build yourself quite, quite an insane uh, Ryzen mini ITX system with the X370 gaming ITX. and. Um, if the X370 is not quite for you, then they also have the B350 Gaming ITX, which is exactly the same board, except it's a B350. All of it is identical, the power, the, the, the audio, the SATA, all of that is identical between the two boards, but um, this one's B350 and that one's uh, X370. 
Uh, next up, what we have are their ATX X370 boards. Now, this one is the B350 Gaming K4. This is your, I'd say this is like your entry level gaming platform. It's got, it's got dual channel memory support. It's got six SATA ports, all of that stuff. Uh, single reinforced X16 slot right up there. And um, one, uh, one X8 slot, multiple X1s. So this is more or less um, a gaming board. It's more or less an entry level platform. So that's the B350 Gaming K4. Next, what we have is the X370 SLI. Now, that one is X370, obviously. <coughs> I, uh, the color scheme has been changed. It's, it's a slightly more premium board. Again, Nichicon audio in there. And uh, dual channel memory support, six SATA controllers, uh, two USB 3 slots, uh, two USB 3 headers right here, two USB 2 headers there, multiple fan headers, and one single 8-pin. Also, from the expansion point of view, it's got um, dual, dual Wi-Fi AC. It's got, well, four USB 3, two USB, <coughs> two USB, well, six USB 3, two USB 3.1s. One of them is Type-C. And, of course, all your audio. Um, the ACMI ports uh, will work once you have, uh, once you have the new uh, APUs coming in, but um, that's what it's there for. Next up is the X370 Gaming X, which is a step up over the... B, over the B350 Gaming K4. So this is the XT70 chipset again. Uh, the audio has been changed for this board. You've got the Creative Sound Blaster audio right here. Dual X16 reinforced slots, so for heavy GPUs and for SLI configs uh, and Crossfire configs. Um, the rest of it is pretty much the same between the <laughs> XT70 Killer and the XT70 Gaming X. The aesthetics are different. The sound is a little different. Um, it doesn't have onboard Wi-Fi, unlike... Uh, uh, unlike the X370, uh, the X370 does, so this doesn't. And um, the USB port layout is pretty much identical. It's got four USB 3s, uh, four USB 3.1s, <laughs> one of them is Type-C, so that's pretty much the same. And you've got the XT70 Tai Chi next. Now, this is one of my favorite boards for the Ryzen platform. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I love the aesthetics on this board. Um, I, love, I love the color scheme as well. So here they've got Purity Sound again, a little bit, little bit different from their Nichicon audio, but all in all a very high-end uh, XT70 motherboard from uh, ASRock. Now what we have here again is um, slightly more SATA ports. We've got 10 SATA ports here versus 6 and 8 on the other boards. We've got the same uh, dual X16 reinforced slots. We've got another X, we've got another X4 slot in, in the bottom. Two X1 slots and um, yeah, lots and lots of fan headers. You've got your two You've got your two USB 3 headers up there. And that's pretty much it for the XT70 Tai Chi. That's, it's a very nice board. And when you want to step up to the highest end gaming uh, board for uh, your Ryzen CPU, then from Astroc, you've got the XT70 Professional Gaming. So um, again, this is the highest end board that they have for the, for the gaming stuff. Um, Sound Blaster Audio again, just like, just like the Gaming X. But what we have here, unlike the Gaming X, is dual channel Wi-Fi, a few more of a few more USB ports. They've actually removed the HDMI port, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I mean this this board you need to have a dedicated uh, standalone uh, uh, GPU. But apart from that, it's a very nice board, very nice board. Oh, another really interesting factor is dual Ethernet port. So the red port that you see there is a five gigabit Ethernet port. Uh, as you must have read recently, uh, 2.5G and 5G are also coming to the consumer space. So this board already has a 5 gigabit Ethernet port built in. Uh, well, if not 10, 5 is more than welcome. It's still at least 500 MB a second. So that's something really nice to see uh, on the AMD platform, um, on the XT70 platform. You've got 5 gigabit Ethernet coming. And uh, this pretty much kind of covers our coverage for the ASRock AM4 Ryzen and X399 motherboards. Um, we'll be covering the Intel X299 motherboards next, so stay tuned.